Katie McFarland with me now. What, what do you make of, of this? So first of all, China's threats to retaliate against us, and then the Chinese foreign minister just moments ago saying, hey, it's our fault. We're spreading stuff. What do you make of all of this? Yeah, this is exactly what they did when the, when the first COVID vaccine, when the first virus started spreading around the world. I mean, they have closed travel within China. You can't travel within China if you're an American citizen. And remember, if you're trying to go to China right now, first of all, they've restricted the number of planes that are going in. They've restricted the number of visas. And even when they, quote, open up in January, they're still going to require COVID tests to enter China. What they've dropped from the inbound travelers, they've just dropped the quarantine. So if you want to go to China, you got to get tested. If you're Chinese who want to come to the West, don't you think it's fair that we ask them to be tested as well? I think a lot of what the Chinese are doing right now is for their own domestic consumption. I mean, they know the hypocrisy of what they're doing. You know, what, what is their penalty going to be? What's their revenge going to be? They're already testing our own people, testing foreigners inbound to China, so they can't sort of ramp that up. I think it's for their domestic audience, which they've locked down for three years, a domestic audience which is really angry at not being able to travel, slow economic growth, not having access to a lot of Western goods. Mm. And so I think they're telling their own people, oh, see, we're sticking up for you. Um, if the West tries to slap COVID restrictions on you or, or tests for COVID testing before or after you enter, we're on your side. So I'm not going to make much of this. Well, Elon Musk is going to release the Fauci files from Twitter in coming days. Are we going to get to the bottom of really where COVID originated? Well, I sure hope so, because we're never going to get to the bottom of it from China. They're never going to release any information. Whatever information that was existing in that Wuhan lab has already been scrubbed for, for, for the last three years. I hope we find out what Fauci was up to, what the NIH involvement was, because I, as somebody who was in the early days of the Trump administration, mm -hmm. I'm concerned that where were we finding any of this? You know, the Obama administration shut down what's called gain-of-function research. Yeah. That's where they take a pretty harmless vaccine and jazz it up and soup it up to make it more lethal and more contagious. The Obama administration banned it. And in the early days of the Trump administration, somehow maybe that gain-of-function research funding was turned back on. Well, I can tell you, when I was in the White House, we didn't know anything about this. And so they certainly weren't seeking um, permission from the President of the United States or from the National Security Council. So what were they about? Were they doing it? And if so, were they doing it? Even if it was two or three hands removed, were they doing it in China? Those are huge questions that the American public really deserves an answer yes, to. Yes, and we would, we would love an answer on the questions like that. KT, always great stuff. Thank you very much. See you again soon. KT McFarland. Thank you, Stuart.